What's going on guys, it's JTech here with another Amazon Fire Stick TV video. Today I'm going to be updating my Kodi to 17.6. Some people haven't done it, like in myself I haven't done it, I've been busy, I haven't really made videos at all, I'm sorry guys, I know. Um, but today I am going to update it and show you guys how to get it for the newcomers too. Also on top of how to get Exodius and a bunch of different streams and sources and one add-on. Alright, so first things first, you want to go all the way to the top of your home on your fire stick go over till you see settings on top go down to device click device go down to developer options click developer options and turn on ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources on turn them both on they'll both be off apps on, from unknown sources will be off you want to click it this will pop up don't worry just press turn on and then same thing with ADB just turn on and then after you do that go back to your home on fire stick go over to the search little magnified glass right here you want to type in downloader you don't have to type it in all the way you can just type in DOW and it will pop up like right here see downloader you want to click downloader and it'll be the first one you want to click that one and once you click it you want to you want to install it in uh, downloading everything I already have it downloaded so it's just gonna open up for me so once you have it downloaded after you download it open it up and you'll be in this screen and what when you open it it'll be looking like this so once you get to this point you wanna click you wanna type in Cody dot TV and I'll have the link in the description if you guys can't see really well or something sorry about the quality but it's gonna have to do alright so what you wanna do once you go there you wanna scroll down until you see Android click Android then you wanna scroll down again go down until you see Android once again click Android and then you have C17.6 Cody. Okay, the one you want to download is ARMS V7A, the middle one, 32 bit. Download that one, click that. Once you already download it, already have it downloaded, it will download, it will pop up, you want to install it. It's plain, simple, forward. Once you guys have it installed, obviously open up the Cody. Open up Cody once it's installed. And then you'll be here, and, the, and it'll be like this. Just you open it up, and code will be like this. Let it load, and you'll be on this screen. Once you get to this screen, what you want to do is go up to the settings, go up to system settings, scroll down to add ons, and unknown sources will be off. You want to turn that on. Again, it will say something. Just press yes and go back to the main go back once then you want to go to file manager you want to add source the source will be in the file description below just in case you guys can't see what I'm typing or what I'm putting but don't worry you guys it will be in the link description below so it will be http forward slash forward slash Demetrology dot com forward slash repo and then press OK and then on the bottom, it will enter a name for this media source. You guys could keep it as repo. It will pop up part of there. You guys keep it as repo. And then press OK. Once you press OK, you'll see it right here. It says repo. So you want to back out. Back out. And then you want to go down to add-ons. And then you want to go to this box that's on the top left-hand corner. Once you get there, click the box. Then you want to go and install from zip file. Install from zip file, 
Then you want to go down to repo where you guys saved it under as. Click repo. Then you want to go down until you find Cody IL. Respiratory, sorry, kind of murdered that. Yeah, you want to scroll down until you see Cody IL. You see it right here, 1.3 zip. You want to click that. Once you click that, let it load, let it install. You uh, On the top right hand corner, you'll see a little box pop up. And then once that box pops up, you want to go up to install from respiratory. And then you, you'll see Cody IL right here. So you want to click Cody Israel group. So I click that. And on this source, you want to go down till you see video add-ons. And right here we'll have so many add-ons like from Exodius to stream all sources to basically almost everything on Cody and just this one add-on. That's what's really cool. But I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to add the ones that I use and which ones I think that are good and that are still working and up and running. But you guys can feel free and go through all these streams and pick which ones you think you want to check out or try out, whatever one. But I'm going to show you guys which ones I use. So first one's first, Poison. I picked that one. I downloaded that one. You want to click that and then click install. And then it'll install. Let that install. And then after that's installed, you want to go down and just scroll down until you want to see Exodius. I'm going to go get Exodius for you guys because I need that too. So scroll down to the ease. Keep going. Keep going. Exodius is right here. You want to click that and you want to click install. Let that install and there, there you go. You guys have Exodius. Okay, you guys want the next one. I'm going to go down to... Um, Let's see what other ones is there. Genesis is good too. You guys who have, I had Genesis back in the days. I'm sure a lot of us had to with TV add-ons. So if you want Genesis, you can click Genesis and install it. So same pl simple plan forward with all the other sources you want. All of them will be in here. Stream all sources. Sports Devil will be in here. Whatever one you guys want to uh, add on. I was just showing you guys a, a few simple ones. And I am going to go show you guys that that they are working. So let me just install this Genesis one and we'll go on about our day. But there is a lot more sources on here that are pretty good like Duckpool or uh, Ducky Movies. But I'm not going to go through all that right now. That might be on another video. So let that install. Let your guys' streams install. Whatever ones you guys pick. And then once you guys do that, you guys want to back out to go to the home page of the Cody home page, not the Amazon Fire Stick. All right, as you guys can see, I'm on the main page. I've only got these four so far. I'm going to go back and later on and add different ones, whatever ones. I haven't looked at them all, so I don't know which ones I want to add. I mean, I'm going to go and check them out myself too and once I find out which ones are good I will let you guys know too so well Exodius I'm, I'm gonna show you guys that it is working that we do have it up and running on the new update sorry for taking so long guys or slow I have I do have the first generation fire stick and this does take some time and it's a little bit slower than the third one I mean I'm too behind but it's okay I mean it still works why get rid of it if it still works right so I'm gonna go to uh, Coco <laughs> kids love this movie I haven't saw it myself I'm supposed to take my nieces and nephews just haven't been too busy so yeah once you install this and if it's not working like if you go here and you click something if it's not working what you want to do is uh restart your fire stick you know just uh unplug it or plug it back in and restart it and then load up cody again and then give it a few seconds to load everything and then you should be good to go but as you see it's loading the streams trying to give me all the it tells me the 4k how many uh 1080p or 720p or standards or whatever so let that load. It does take a little while. But as you see, it does work. 
And I hope this helps you guys a lot. I mean, it took me a while to find a source that you guys wouldn't have to go around adding and re-adding and re-adding all these different sources just to get one stream. And I figured out how to get all the sources in one add-on. So which is pretty cool. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I appreciate it myself because I was getting frustrated on trying to add all these different uh, sources and it's just a hassle to keep going back and forth. It's really repetitive. But yeah, sorry guys, my the like I said, the first Amazon Fire Stick is really slow. So if you guys are encountering problems like this too, then I suggest you guys to update or upgrade to a newer Fire Stick Amazon. And it might be a little bit faster. Well, it is a faster because I just done it on a different one and it was pretty faster than this one, I could tell you that. So it loaded up all the streams to watch the movie. So I'm going to click one and see. We'll let it load. And there you guys go. See, it loaded up just fine. I mean, I'm not going to play too much of it, but as you tell, it loaded up just fine. And Exodius is working on 17.6, and that's how you guys update it and get all the sources in one add-on, guys. Hope you guys appreciate it. Enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll answer you guys' questions as much as I can. If you guys have any problems, let me know. But until then, stay safe, live life, and peace out.